started filming in February. We broke. Black Lives Matter happened. I went to London, and I was in Hyde Park marching. It shook me and, and, and a lot of my Snowfall family to the core. The uncomfortable conversations that people could kind of sweep aside, it was on the tip of everyone's tongue. It was in the front of everyone's brain. And it was on a lot of people's heart. Systemic racism is all around us. I think it's around all society and it can't be ignored anymore. America is racist, down you know, to the wax between its toes. That racism, it piggybacks on the notion of capitalism because money makes the world go round. The black community is saying that we feel responsible for this notion of being somehow the burden of society because of how you get treated. All of these little reminders that we get every day, they tally up to something. People of color put on masks every day. The mask is a smile. We had long Zoom conversations about whether this was even relevant now, whether people would be even willing to watch a show about crack in the 80s. Who gives a shit? Our people are dying. Our people are being killed. People still don't understand how this moment is a replica of so many other moments. Like what happened? What made the dynamics the way they were that still influence now from 84 all the way to 2020, and how certain things have not changed? Please do not forget that this is systematic racism. This is systematic inequality for American citizens who happen to be black. If you're Sandra Bland, there's no way that you should be pulled over for a ticket and end up dead. So when are we gonna learn that we are stronger together than not? We talked a lot about how important it was to tell the stories that need to be told, to dig even deeper into the stories of the African experience. Each character reminds someone of somebody that they grew up with. Somebody knows a Jerome, somebody knows a Aunt Louie, somebody knows a Leon, somebody knows a Franklin. To work on a show which complements that is beautiful because you believe you're truly making art and you're truly making a change that's gonna uplift the community. We have a Snowfall Access program that was conceived to help usher in new voices, new artists, to, to help initiatives of everyone feeling like they have a seat at the table. There are PAs, there are actors who are just starting out who might want to direct, um, who might want to write, who might want to be producing their own shows at some point. Well, we have some pretty wonderful directors, writers, producers, set designers sitting around, so why don't we go ahead and put together a program where we offer everybody in the Snowfall family a chance to get on a Zoom on the weekend and we have somebody sit there and give a course on, here's how I got there. You know, here's where the passion started, and here's how you kind of fan the flames, and here's how we get that first break. I typed the sentence, which is on hot, sticky days in southern Louisiana, the fire ants swarm. I was 34. I said, wow, that's, that sounds like it could be a, a book, a novel, a story, something. So I said, I'm going to start writing. And so I did. The more diverse group of people that you bring together for one common goal, the better the story is going to be, the better the show is going to be. I challenge anybody to, to show me a more diverse crew with more people of color in department head positions. It doesn't matter who you are, what, as long as you are talented and you want to work hard, you're welcome to come to Snowfall. It's something that John insisted upon. Who, who gave people more chances than John Singleton? And to see that he left a legacy and that the stewards of that legacy, the people that are still with us, that this production is still maintaining and integrity to not just the story, but the people that tell the story. People are saying, this isn't gonna happen anymore, and you can almost see how it might stop happening. There's hope that a world they imagine might actually exist. Uh, I just wanted to say it's been an honor to work with you guys. You guys are extraordinary, you're the best cast in the world. Uh, beautiful, beautiful people. So I just wanted to, right now, show that love. Oh, wait, let's look at the teeth. <laughs> Yeah. Last smile. I got I'm you. still on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It really is about people. It's about community. It's about that you can right wrongs, but we have to do that together.